Who is Gaia? Why does NASA worship her? Gaia is an ancient Greek goddess who was also known as Mother Earth. Her revival today is more than coincidental. It is part of a new world order agenda to replace Christianity with idol worship. They began by indoctrinating people through media on the importance of the earth and preserving its environment. While this seems innocent enough, it really is a mask to hide their true agenda, which is to use the globe earth as a point of worship. One such group who advocate worshipping the globular earth is the Gaia organization. Gaia is a revival of paganism that rejects Christianity, considers Christianity its biggest enemy, and views the Christian faith as its only obstacle to a global religion centered on Gaia worship and the uniting of all life forms around the goddess of Mother Earth. A cunning mixture of science, paganism, Eastern mysticism, and feminism have made this pagan cult a growing threat to the Christian Church. NASA's Ties to Gaia The Gaia hypothesis can be credited to James Lovelock. Lovelock worked for NASA during the 1960s as a consultant to the Life on Mars Viking spacecraft project. All of the life forms on this planet, according to Lovelock, are a part of Gaia a part of one spirit goddess that sustains life on Earth. Since this transformation into a living system, he theorizes, the interventions of Gaia have brought about the evolving diversity of living creatures on planet Earth, Jennifer Rast slash Contender Ministries. Dr. James Lovelock, while working for NASA and looking for the evidence of extraterrestrial life on Mars, observed the Earth as might an extraterrestrial and began to formulate a method of explanation as to why the Earth appeared therefore to be not so much a planet adorned with diverse life forms, but a planet which had been transfigured and transformed by a self-evolving and self-regulating living system. While living in Wilshire London Dr. Lovelock described his hypothesis to his neighbor, William Golding, the novelist E.G., Lord of the Flies, and asked advice concerning a suitable name for it. The resultant term Gaia was given him after the Greek goddess Gaia. This is the same Greek goddess straight form Greek mythology. Gaia went on to become a religious movement spanning across the world. Gaia Worship in Al Gore According to Jennifer Rast of Contender Ministries, some of the promoters of this Gaia worship are leading figures and organizations such as former Vice President Albert Gore, broadcaster Ted Turner, and the United Nations and its various NGOs. Al Gore's book Earth in the Balance is just one of many books that unabashedly proclaims the deity of Earth and blames the falling away from this pagan god on the environmentally unfriendly followers of Jesus Christ. The United Nations has been extremely successful in infusing the green religion into an international governmental body that has an increasing effect and control over all of our lives. Gaia Worship and Global Climate Change By continuing to push notions that carbon dioxide is a poison, that global warming exists and mankind is responsible for it, that we need a worldwide carbon tax and that we require Agenda 21-style global governance, 
these people are promoting the New World Order program and unwittingly placing elite controllers in power who don't care about the environment and view it merely as a resource to be exploited. It has even gotten to the point where those resisting climate change, another Rothschild Rockefeller creation, are being treated like criminal extremists there have even been calls in the US by climate scientists for Obama to prosecute them. Freedom Article 2015 Gaia and the Greeks It was the Greek culture that popularized the spherical Earth known as Mother Earth. The sphericity of the Earth was established by Greek astronomy in the 3rd century BC, and the earliest terrestrial globe appeared from that period. The earliest known example is the one constructed by crates of mallows in Cilicia, now Kukurova in modern-day Turkey, in the mid-2nd century BC, this is according to Wikipedia, 2018. Not surprisingly, the spherical Earth and all of its associate heavenly bodies fit within the framework of a long list of Greek gods and their rivals. Please note in the image displayed that Gaia is Mother Earth. Although the spherical Earth's globe imagery is everywhere from school textbooks to our movie theaters, it only serves as a visual image for us to worship Gaia. Of this, one can only think of God's warning in Deuteronomy 4.19, when you look to the heavens and see the sun and moon and stars, all the host of heaven, do not be enticed to bow down and worship what the Lord your God has apportioned to all the nations under heaven. Yahweh's desire is that we worship Him and only Him. Clearly there is a push in social media, movies, and political circles to get our eyes off of the one true God, Yahweh, and replace Him with pagan gods and goddesses. What is your take on this? Do you agree that NASA worship Gaia? Drop your thought in comment section. Remember to subscribe. Like and share this video if you enjoy it. Well, it is time to take a look at the ultimate deception and the world's best kept secret. Many people have been and are aware of the religious cons that have existed for thousands of years, but these cons make no claim to being scientific truth, unlike this con. You will know that this is the ultimate con by your initial reaction to its deconstruction. A reaction that has been nurtured for 500 years and counting. This con claims to be based on scientific evidence when it actually has no scientific evidence at all and is just a house of cards built on layers upon layers of convoluted theories and claims which often fly directly and literally in the face of objective evidence. This con makes it startlingly clear that obviously fallacious information can be sold to humanity as truth even though the average human can clearly see that it is false. Those that perpetrated this fallacious information were well aware that wrapping it in a scientific shroud of authenticity would easily fool the gullible human, while relentlessly reinforcing the myth and ruthlessly condemning the non-believers would ensure that the lies would stand as truth, since after all, science says it true. If you carefully examine the deconstruction of this ultimate con and begin to unravel the layers of lies that have been hammered into your consciousness since you were born, you should fully expect to react by experiencing confusion, since a major part of your worldview will be disassembled as a result. This is normal and will pass with time as you dig deeper into the layers of the con. 
Another inevitable response is to experience anger rising as a result of the realization that this fraud was not accidental and has been a deliberate action by a long string of people whose goal has been to manipulate humanity, including you, through this fraud. The deconstruction of this fraud will necessarily begin with information that clearly exposes the false claims that the con is based on. As more aspects of the ultimate con are exposed as the fraud that it is, you may find that it becomes harder to consider the actual conclusions that you will come to if you examine all of the evidence. You may find that it is just too uncomfortable to accept the truth that you've even deliberately lied to on such a fundamental level and just want to dismiss the information as just another conspiracy theory. This is a natural reaction to something so heinously misleading. And, after all, we have been repeatedly trained to quickly dismiss anything that the controllers have deemed sacrosanct. My suggestion is that you hang in there and continue to examine the evidence, since you will eventually attain a new level of realization that lifts you above the initial confusion and brings you to a clearer understanding of the manipulation being perpetrated along with a newfound freedom from the long-standing control you have been subjected to. So let us carry on and continue to expose them and propagate the truth. We should not relent in our effort until the entire world is taken back by truth. The greatest deception is the shape of the Earth and a close look at the UN logo, what do you see? Air your views and suggestions in the comments section. Remember to like and share this video if you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.